hey guys welcome back to another day of our tutorial so in today's video we are going to be making this circle palazzo pant i i made a post on um, my youtube short and i asked you guys for it if you want a tutorial and you guys came through so yes we are going to be making the tutorial today and uh, before we go into the tutorial i have some few things i want to discuss with you guys before we start a uh, few things like the fabric recommendation and uh, some little changes that is going to be happening on my channel from now on okay so first of all i'm going to talk about the changes that is going to happen on the um the channel before we move on to the fabric you need and the how many yard you need okay so first thing um uh lately because of the the way i position my camera during the time of my teaching or pattern drafting it's not really comfortable for me it's uh, for me to be able to get the actual length maybe if i'm making a trouser or i'm making a, a, a long dress it's quite difficult for me to take the measurement proper so i came up with this idea that if i cannot meet up that way and i don't have a, a proper gadget to get those things uh, proper i can just come up with something right so i decide to start using a smaller scale to to create my pattern so that means i will be using a centimeter instead of inches so when you start seeing me uh, using a centimeter just have to know that this is the reason why okay so in this tutorial um I'm going to be using a smaller scale pattern, but those numbers I will be calling or measuring is going to represent the inches. Okay, so yeah, for instance, if my hip is 40 inches, I will be talking about 40 centi uh, centimeters, but those centimeters is going to represent the inches. Okay, so I hope you understand this. So that aside, so the fabric recommendation I will recommend for you is a crepe thick crepe is acceptable light crepe um, if you use light crepe it's not going to be that full like this mine is a light crepe so it didn't really give me that full up uh, or the stand uh, effect that I was actually expecting from the original design so yes you can also try uh, Ankara to see if it works if it works for you that that will be fine okay you can try any any of the material that you you, you can right so um, basically that is it and how many yard you will need if you're if you fall into a hip 35 to 40 three and a half year from 42 above you will need four yard to four and a half yard okay so it depends on your body size so right now um if you're new to my channel you are very welcome and for my returning subscriber you guys are also welcome so if you're new to my channel and you're yet to subscribe kindly subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notification okay so let's get started with the tutorial i have here on the table the fabric i'm going to use this is crepe and it's a little bit slightly stretched okay the stretch is not much and uh, this is um three and a half yard okay so now let me keep this aside so that we can work on the the brand fabric so this is the fabric that i'm going to use to draft out the pattern okay so like i said that my measurement i will be using a uh, centimeter okay okay guys so let's call this three yard okay you have three and a half yard you're going to cut that half yard so those half yard is going to serve as your waistband and your pocket okay so the width I have here is by 3 yards and the length is by 60 inches, okay? Like I said, we are working with centimeters. So those, those number and centimeter is going to represent the inches, okay? So what we're going to do now, we're going to fold the 3 yard into 2 to have 1 and a half yard, okay? So that is what I'm doing and that is what we're going to do. By doing this, it's going to... Uh, we're going to get the front and the back pattern together when you fold it into two like that you get the front and the back pattern together okay so now let me take the measurement so the length 
the length now becomes a uh, 54 cm which represents 54 inches and then the width is a uh, by 60 cm which represent uh, 60 inches okay so that is what you should know and again this method that we are using as we are folding it like this is going to give us both the front and the back like i said okay and then if you know how to work with a circle shape or work with a if you have cut a circle skirt before and uh or a circle dress before this is the same method that we're going to use okay so the side they are all open the lower part is open only the upper part that is on fold okay so afterward we are going to fold it to create a triangle shape okay we're going to fold it to create a triangle shape be sure you arrange it proper before you do this okay and as, as you're working with it on your actual fabric I will advise you to iron it if you have light iron it so that the it should be easy for you to work with okay so but if you don't have iron just like me then you can just do away with that all right so once we are done folding it like this so the next thing now i'm going to do now i'm going to mark four inches or four cm to to create um so i will be marking four cm or four inches rather for my crouch extension okay mark for uh, four four inches all the way down so once you have done marking this you're going to connect this line connect the straight line all the way down so next for us to impute our waistline we are going to be using our hip circumference as the hip line okay uh, or as the waistline so you're going to divide your hip by three so whatever thing that gives you you're going to use that as the circumference of your waist okay divide your hip circumference by three and uh, you're going to place it here okay and mark so you're going to mark it round okay just watch and see what i'm doing so i'm going to repeat this line as you can see my tape is on that position on the tip of that tape mark the number that you got when you divide your hip circumference by three and again on your crouch line the same thing you're going to do so you divide your hip circumference by three if you want your crouch to be fitted you want it to be fitted then use exactly as the crouch but if you want it to be loose then you can add one inch to that okay so I'm going to divide my right hip circumference by three again, and I need to mark my crouch extension. So at this point, you're going to uh, consider your waistband. My waistband is going to be two inches. And to do that, I'm going to place uh, 1.5 inches above. Then that means I added 0 0.5 inch for my uh, stitching allowance, okay? So I place the tape 1.5 inches above, then I'm marking my crouch um line okay the length of my crouch so from that point where i mark the length of my crouch i'm going to extend that line out like so and then from that line i will mark three inches above so then i'm get my curve ruler and then i will create the curve so now i have succeeded in drafting my pant okay so the next thing i'm going to do is to mark the length of my pant so the length of my pants is going to be at 40 inches okay so i will place my tape again 1.5 inches above like so for my waistband and then i'm going to mark where wherever the 40 is stop i'm going to mark it and i'll continue with it until i get to the side okay so just follow up and see what i'm doing so that you will not miss out on any other things or you will not mess up your your dress okay all right so once i'm done i'm going to connect all the lines together all the dots that i make i'm going to connect it all together just like that okay so the next thing i will do i'm going to add my sewing allowance which is 0 0.5 inch from the center front and the center back okay so the next thing i will do is to cut out the from the waistline i will cut all this part off okay 
I hope this was easy for you to follow. So I'm adding 0 0.5 inch allowance for folding up my my rough edges or the hemming uh, line. Okay, so so I'm going to separate this front here. And after then, I'm going to notch this part, okay? I'm going to notch it. So you're going to separate it like so, so that you can get your, um, differentiate the front and the back, okay? So I'm going to use this lower part as my front line, uh, yeah, front pattern. So I will be marking 0 0.75 C, cm, yes. So 0 uh, 0.75 cm represents 0 0.75 inches, okay? So that is what you need to understand. So after then, I'm going to connect a straight line and then I will cut this part off. So basically, this is my front and this is the back. So I'm going to separate the side so that we can get the front and the back pattern, okay? So the back pattern is longer that is a, the extension is bigger than the side the front so right right now let me cut it separate the both uh, pattern so this is my front and uh, this is my the back is aside so right now you're going to mark um 0 0.75 drop your waist the center front okay you're going to drop your waist 0 0.75 cm which represents 0 0.75 inches okay so after then you're going to cut this part off so that is what you're going to do to your main fabric okay so you you don't need to go through this process i'm going through this process because i'm teaching you guys okay so if you're following up use your actual fabric to do that so the next thing now we are going to move on to the main fabric so this is my main fabric I have gone ahead to cut out i do everything off camera because there's no point for me to come back again and repeat the same thing here on the uh camera okay so my front pattern the back and also everything is ready the next thing now we are going to work on the pocket so if you haven't seen the tutorial where i share how i draft the pattern for my insane pocket please click on the description box the tutorial is there or on the comment section i'm going to drop the link there okay so that you can go and draft your pattern and then you come back here so this is the pocket i'm talking about okay so and um each pocket you need to cut them to two each side is two two pieces okay so the total pieces for pocket you're going to cut is four inches okay so now let's um find out how the placement of the pocket the distance between the waistband to where the pocket is going to start so from the waistline, I'm going to mark 2.5 inches below. I remember I have 0 0.5 inch to join to my waistband. So it's going to remain uh, 2 inches, okay? So then I'm going to mark 2.5 inches right here. So this is the part where my pocket is going to begin. So I'm going to get my pocket. Make sure you find the right side of your pocket and the wrong side of your pocket, okay? So here is my wrong side of the pocket which i just mark here okay so i'm going to place the right side facing the right side find the right side of your fabric uh, of your pattern or your fabric then place it the right side facing the right side and then you're going to pin it like this okay so i'm going to repeat the same process on all my four pieces of pocket and trouser okay so i have gone ahead to pin all my pockets to my four pieces of uh, trouser. So the next thing I will go back to my sewing machine, I will join them with 0 0.5 inch. Repeat all pieces the same way like that, okay? So I will go back now, join them with 0 0.5 inch. So this 0 0.5 inch is what you're going to use to join your trouser back, okay? So now that I'm done uh, stitching down my pocket, so the next thing I'm going to do is to uh, place the right side of the right side of my fa fabric or my pattern to join the the crouch line or the cuff line. Okay, I'm going to get the so this is the um, this is the front. Okay, so first thing I need to do is to find the right side. 
which is easy because of the pocket that we already fit on so i'm going to place it like this the right side facing the right side and then i will pin this i'm going to do the same thing to the back as well all the process that i'm doing here i will repeat it on the back pieces okay so i will go and join with 0 0.5 and also the same thing here to the back pieces so i will join it with 0 0.5 i will be back so i have done join my two pieces uh, my front and my back together not like they join the pieces together okay so this is how it's looking like so the next thing now we need to determine the, the placement of the pleats and the width that we need to fold our plate on okay remember we use our hip circumference as the waist circumference so you're going to uh take the measurement from the waist to find out how many inches that you have if you if it's more than your hip circumference then whatever excess that remaining you're going to use it as the width of your plate and also you're going to minus from that excess remember that you have your 0 0.5 inch by the side to join your front and your back pattern together by the side okay so yes you are going to consider that as well and to know where to start your plate you're going to mark your bust pan uh, measurement divided by two and then you're going to mark it that is the point where you're going to start your plate okay mine allowance is not much is uh, two inches so i minus 0 0.5 inch by the side on both sides so that i can join my front and my back pattern together so the remaining uh, allowance for my plate is 1.5 so i divide that 1.5 by 2 which gives me 0 0.75 so that is what i'm using now as the fold okay or as my plate so once i'm done from this point like this i'm going to pin it once you uh, once you plate it you're going to pin it down so that it will not uh, scatter okay so right now i'm going to confirm my measurement to be sure that i have exactly um a 20 or, or i have exactly 21 inches okay so i will repeat the same process at the back pattern okay i'm going to mark my half of my bust band measurement and then i will fold in with the 0 0.75 here i will pin it so so to the other side, the same thing I will do, mark uh, my 3.5 inches and then I'll, from that 3.5 inches, I'm going to fold it with 0 0.75 to create my plate. Okay, afterward, I'm going to pin it down. So that is it. So I will go back to my sewing machine to secure all these uh, plates. So once I'm done, uh, before we head to the sewing machine, I will just... Uh, uh, pin the front and the back together so that when I get to the sewing machine I will just stitch everything uh, together instead of going and coming back okay so now I'm just arranging my my pieces here this is my back pieces I'm arranging it so that I can place the front on it and pin So place the right side facing the right side, okay, and then we're going to pin. So I'm going to come to this part here. So please watch carefully to see what you're going to do, okay? So you're going to place place the, the two pattern like this, okay? Make sure your pocket is sticking out. Don't stitch your pocket inside. So your pocket has to be out. The two pieces of the pocket has to be outside, okay? So this is the pocket. So you're going to pin it this way, okay? You're going to pin your pocket all round because if you fix your pocket inside you will mistakenly stitch in the pocket inside as well so you have to bring out the pocket outside like so and then you're going to pin so i'm going to take this pin all the way down okay and whatever process i'm doing i did here i'm going to do the same thing to the other side okay so you're going to go to the sewing machine and join it with 0 0.5 inch you're going to come down a bit from that pocket by 0 0.5 inch and then you take it from that point all the way to this point and then take it also all the way down okay 
so the same thing i'm doing i i did for the other side i'll also repeat the same thing at this side okay so it's all the same process so now that i'm done join my sides together so this is how it's looking like so the next thing now i will do is to work on the inseam so let me turn it to the wrong side so i will pin it together like so okay and then i'll head back to my sewing machine to join the inseam and i will be back so i have joined my inseam now the next thing now is to take the runway circumference to determine the width of my band okay that is what you're going to do so i have cut out my band so here is my band and also i have gone ahead to weave the rough edges with my overlocking machine if you don't have overlocking machine you can just fold it okay so the reason why you need to do that is because we need to keep some uh, opening from the center front of this band so that our strap can come out okay so if you do not keep the inside neat in future the thread will be pulling out okay so that is why either you fold it or you use overlocking machine to overlock it okay so the next thing i will do now i'm going to find the midpoint okay so i'm going to place my tape like this and then fold then i will use my chop to mark it to get my midpoint okay so uh what i did after marking the midpoint i marked 0 0.5 inch below but i later reduced the uh, lose the 0 0.5 inch because the allowance was too tiny the space for the strap to come out was too tiny so move on to the lower part i'm going to mark 0 0.5 inch here so my stitching is going to stop at that 0 0.5 inch okay so when you do this you have automatically create um, the space uh, for the opening so i will go back to my sewing machine from this part here where i'm drawing out this line this is the part where i'm going to stitch 0 0.5 inch and also 0 0.5 inch by the side okay so and the space will remain is going to be from this middle here so now let me go back to my sewing machine i will join it from this part where i mark okay i will do that and then i will come back and show you how it looks so i have gone ahead to join my uh, stitch it okay i have stitched it down as you can see the allowances is very tiny uh, because my the width of my band is going to be 1.5 inches at the end of the day but the space that i'm seeing here is too small so what i need to do i need to lose it so i'm going to lose it the 0 0.5 inch that i added i'm going to lose it to stop at the midpoint okay so that is what i'm going to do i will lose the 0 0.5 inch and then stop it at the midpoint exactly so so that it can it can fit in my strap so i hope all this explanation was clear for you to follow so the next thing you're going to do you're going to open your seam allowance okay and iron it okay i don't want to stop stitch because it's going to look somehow rough so the only thing i'm going to do is to uh, find a way to iron you can iron it so that it can so that the band will be uh, will be look nice rather okay and uh, the next thing i'm doing i'm going to do now is to place my band to my uh, trouser and to do that you need to find them um, when you're going to join the fold it okay you need to open the seam allowance from the inside in case if you do not iron it okay open the seam allowance just the way you see me doing and then the part where it's open that is the part where you're going to place to the uh, to the back okay this opening is going to be at the back and then so how to place the band and the opening to be outside so you're going to fold your band like this so this part now that is is open is a uh, uh, right side okay so you're going to place the band the right side facing the right side of your pants and this uh, this part is going to be at the back okay not the front please remember the opening is going to be at the back not the front so after then i'm going to pin it round so i have done pin it so the next thing i'm going to do is to head back to my sewing machine and i'm going to join this round with 0 0.5 inch okay so next we're going to cut out our strap so here is my strap this is the strap that is going to go through my waist 
okay my waistband and the width i have here is four inches okay when it's on fold it's going to be two inches so by the time you don't fold it uh take out the 0 0.5 inch on both sides to join it's going to remain uh 1.5 and the length of your strap is going to be your round waist sec uh, circumference times uh, two, uh, two and a half. Okay, divide your round hip circumference. You can multiply it by three or the two and a half. Okay, so that is what you need to determine. And if you want the length to be that long, then you can uh, use your, uh, your hip circumference, multiply it by two. All right, so basically that is it. So the next thing I will go back to my sewing machine to uh, stitch my uh, strap and then I will be back for us to fit in on the waistband. So, so now that I'm done uh, stitch on I my strap, so this is what I did. As you can see, look at this so, side is stitch, okay. but this side that stitch is open. left open, this is this the is part where I'm going to, I'm going to use it to turn right. out my, my the strap to the right side, okay? So, so I'm going to trim up this all these rough edges. So it's not by most that you must create the shape of your strap like this. Do it any way, anyhow you like it to be, okay? So mine, I prefer it to have that sharp edges for one side and the other side to be like that. So that is what I did. So the next thing I will do now is to use my loop toner to turn my, my strap to the right side by doing it like this, okay? So if we don't have a loop toner, you can use your scissors, you can use anything that you can to turn out your, your strap to the right side, okay? So this is how it's looking like. So the next thing I will do, I'm going to iron this. Okay, I'm going to iron it so that it can look nice. It doesn't look nice by the way it is like this. So I have done that. So the next thing I will do now is to fix my strap through my waistband. So I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you learned something from this channel today. If you do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you're yet to do so. And help me share this video, okay? Please help me share the video and give the video a thumbs up. Leave your comment below what you think. Was there any complication when you are working with or following up with the tutorial? Please let me know on the comment section, okay? So as you can see right now, I'm facing in my band and um, yeah. So I don't have the safety pin, so I use a uh, needle. I have a, a very big needle. So I am using that needle now to bring out my strap. So if you don't have your safety pin, use a uh, use, um, needle, okay? Needle will still do the work you should be able to get your strap out of the waistband okay basically we are coming to the end of this tutorial um i want to say a very big thank you for watching to this very moment and um stay tuned for my next tutorial right because um i have some leftover projects that i'm yet to complete I'm going to, after this, I'm going to post it. So if you if you subscribe and if you did not turn on your post notification, you may not get the notif uh, notification unless when you come on YouTube. So try to turn on your post notification so that you'll get notified when um, I post the video, okay? And I'm so sorry that this took me so long for me to post it because of the light issue that I'm having here and also somehow the uh, uh, around i'm um, going around here in the house okay so yeah that is it so basically this is the the, the finished look this is how it's looking like and um i want to say once more again thank you so much for watching and um, have a good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you're watching this from i will see you on my next video bye